Hello friends, it's me, Mick, and welcome back to the Weekly Recap. This is the show where we talk about all the things happening on Spot.ph this week. This episode we'll be talking about amazing food, travel news, and art fair features. So stick around to the end because you wouldn't want to miss any of it. But before we move on, remember to hit that subscribe button to keep yourself up to date with everything that goes on here on Spot.ph. But enough of that, let's jump right in. If you're watching this on the day of release, the BTS concert Permission to Dance on stage is out in SM Cinemas around Metro Manila. Now if you can't get enough BTS in your life, you'll want to check out these BTS themed foods available right now. From BTS inspired cocktails to fondant cakes that you can bring home to these buns. <laughs> all of these items look mouth-watering and are a must-have for all BTS fans. All the more chances to rep your bias. Something that I'd like to know and sound off in the comments below is who among you guys wish that they were 13 again? I mean, who really has the courage to go through old photographs of the time that they thought they were the epitome of cool and not cringe? Well, that's one of the things that is explored in Disney's Turning Red. Starring Sandro Oh and Rosalie Chang, the film is set in 2002 Toronto, Canada and is about a Chinese-Canadian family who seems normal on the outside but there's a little more to them that meets the eye. But they're not Transformers. Over on Spot.ph, we have an article where we talk about Sandro Oh and Rosalie Chang's thoughts on the film, voice acting, and navigating parental relationships with teenagers. Check out our article and all the other articles in this video down in the description below. The next thing we'll be talking about is meat, and lots of it. Sofitel Manila is holding the Canadian Gastronomic Fest this month of March. What does that mean? It means that vegetarians might be in for a bit of a surprise, as Sofitel serves the finest Canadian meat. This is in partnership with the Embassy of Canada, British Columbia, and Canada Beef, and there's a lot going on. Over at the food truck, you can try amazing Canadian meat dishes with a global twist. If that piques your interest, you may want to try the Canadian beef sisig, steak fajitas and taco salad, black pepper beef, among other dishes. And that's not all. For the month of March, Sofitel's resident buffet, Spirals, is holding the Canadian Surf and Turf weekend every lunch and dinner on the weekends. <laughs> I hear you though. Mig, that's this month. I don't have time to go to Sofitel, but I do want to try all of these dishes. Well, Sofitel has the answer for you. Men are they good at this. You can have your fill of meats right in the comfort of your own home with Sofitel's at-home surf and turf platter, which is available for takeaway. If you're not yet in a food coma from watching this segment alone, head over to our article on Spot.page to find out how you can make a reservation and partake in this here feast fit for a king. Speaking of feasts, what's the best way to end one? Obviously, desserts. If you said anything else, you're wrong. Unless you're on a diet, then understand. I respect you. It doesn't matter how much meat you've had, there's always room for more sweets. If you're still agreeing with me, then check out this article on the best cheesecakes you can get on Grab Food or Food Panda. You got regular cheesecakes, blueberry cheesecakes, bibinka cheesecakes, even keto chocolate cheesecakes. All ready for you to order in the palm of your hand. If you had your phone, which I don't have mine because it's recording this video right now. What a time we live in! <laughs> a break from talking about food. In a few weeks, we'll be back celebrating the works of local artists in Art Fair Philippines 2022. If you haven't seen our video last week, we shared articles on everything you need to know about Art Fair Philippines and artists to watch out for for this Art Fair. One artist to watch out for is Derek Tomala, who is part of the Art Fair's Artist Residency Program. He's using his art to hammer down the message of climate change and its effect on local typhoons and other phenomena. Check out our article over on spot.ph and our video here on our YouTube channel to get to know more about him and his art. Now we fly away from the confines of Metro Manila as we take a look at 10 IG-worthy food spots in Boracay. If you're ready to hit the white sand beaches of Boracay and are already planning your summer OOTDs and the perfect IG photo to go with it, why not complete the look with these beautiful spots? Not like you really need to find a spot in Boracay that's IG-worthy, I mean that island is gorgeous. But nonetheless, you can up your Instagram game here in these spots like Cafe Maruja, Chachas Beach Cafe, Mayas, Filipino, and Mexican cuisine, and more. At this point, you might as well make checking your article part of you planning your trip to Boracay. Now, beaches may not be your thing, or perhaps rather than just getting away from the city, you want to get away from the country for a few days. But good news for you, Singapore now allows travel for Filipinos without the need to quarantine. This is only applicable for fully vaccinated individuals who travel by air. So, if you want to go to Singapore without the need for quarantine, you gotta get that vaccine. Both doses. And the booster if you can. Fully vaccinated. Now, if you do travel, remember that before you do, you'll want to hit that like button on this video and that notification bell. Those are travel essentials and are said to bring you good luck. No, <laughs> I kid, but do them anyway because they're fun. Check out another video from Spot.ph over on the left side of the screen that should be popping up sometime around now. 
and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. This has been Mig and I'll see you guys soon.